Jimmy Taylor. Welcome, Ms. Wilkins. Welcome to the Founder BB Show live out of Dallas, Texas. How are you ladies today? Doing well. Yeah. Well, we're so excited to talk with you because you guys have a real important subject. So I'm going to start with you, Ms. A uh, Amy. How do we get to the point that we now have a national youth e-cigarette public health crisis? And why? Well, thank you so much for having us to talk about this important issue. You know, we have more than 2 million high school and middle school students who are currently vaping. And many of those young people who are vaping are doing so regularly, which shows signs of addiction. And we're in this crisis because e-cigarettes come in fruity, kid-friendly flavors like grape and cherry, and many of them include very high levels of nicotine, and uh, which, which young people sometimes don't even know that there's nicotine in these e-cigarettes. So this is an important issue for us to be talking about. I want to ask uh, Ms. Wilkins as assistant principal, how do you know young people are vaping? I mean, like, really, are they doing this at school? Um, oftentimes you have incidents where students are using at school. Um, it just so happens at our school, we're a little more vigilant. Um, our teachers are um, provided professional development to know the um, warning signs, know what to look for. Um, as I always say, ear hustle. I'm listening to the students as they have their um, dialogue with one, an one another. But we also have the reality that um, most of our students do have older siblings or parents um, for the matter that are, and they don't see any effects that are negative until we have um, provided them the Vaping Know the Truth curriculum, which educates them and gives them more knowledge as to how they're going to be impacted um, and their quality of life is impacted. I want my audience to know that Ms. Wilkins is an assistant principal and Amy Taylor is the chief community engagement officer for Truth Initiative. Ms. Uh, Amy, let me ask you this. What resources are available to, to help young people since the assistant principal knows that they're vaping at their school? Well, what kind of support do you offer her? We're very excited to provide schools across the country a free school-based curriculum, a digital curriculum that is available uh, at, at no cost that uh, really educates young people about the facts, uh, helps empower them to make uh, important decisions. And, and not only around vaping nicotine, but around vaping cannabis as well. So it's proven effective. We've already reached more than a million students. And to get more information uh, about this free curriculum, you can go to truthinitiative.org backslash curriculum. And uh, Amy, let me ask you, are you dealing with more than just the vaping? Are, are kids smoking cannabis or something like that? Yeah. Over the last two decades, we've seen an alarming uh, nearly 250% increase in the number of young people who are using cannabis. And many of these young people are, are using uh, nicotine vapes and cannabis vapes. And so what young people don't necessarily know, there are so many uh, myths out there, is that you know, they, their brain is still developing. And uh, vaping, either of these products, can have very serious impacts, negative impacts on their mental health and their physical health. Okay. I'd like to ask Ms. Wilkins. Um, Amy talked about the, the usage of these products. How is this impacting your, your, uh, your students? It is impacting them in a way of um, we still do have um, peer pressure. Um, our students are having more um, dialogue and exposure because this is the trendy thing. Um, however, in our efforts um, to put in place more restorative practices to educate our students, um, 
to create that healthy student discourse of, and having more inf- insightful discussions and teaching them and putting the accountability um, back on the students to have that knowledge um, and having healthy replacement behaviors instead of using vapes and um, using them as vessels of knowledge to take back to their peers and um, extending that knowledge to their um, older siblings or adults in their um, home life to really making the change because these things do impact their own way of life. Um, it has been beneficial. There has been a decrease um, of the reported um, vaping incidents being nicotine or um, cannabis. And the students are more apt to have that discussion with one another and look at it as, hey, um, deterring their peers from um, using. So, Ms. Wilkins, I know you have the curriculum, but um, Amy said that some of the parents are vaping. How, how successful can this be when your role model is doing something you're not supposed to do? Um, I always tell our students that we as adults are not always right. We make mistakes as well. And our students do. Um, I have had some um, experiences where our students have taken it home and um, impacted their home lives. And parents have, have ceased to use vaping and e- e-cigarettes as a result of the student, what the student has learned here at school. So it is beneficial. Um, either way, the knowledge is out there. Um, it doesn't matter who provides the knowledge. Oftentimes, we as adults can learn from our um, children as well. So just learning from the youth and everyone becoming more knowledgeable about the hazards of vaping. Thank you so very much. And, Amy, I'm going to wrap up with you. Vape this Know the Truth curriculum. How many schools in it is, are, are you reaching or are, Tell me about that. We, we're in uh, almost every community in the country. We've reached almost, we, we've reached more than a million students in the, our first three years. Uh, we think that we're going to see more students this year because we've added two new curriculums that deal with vaping cannabis and the negative impact, uh, impacts around that as well. And to get more information about how to get this free resource, you can just go to to truthinitiative.org backslash uh, curriculum. Ladies, I want to commend you for the work that you're doing because this is hard work. This is really, really hard work. But this is work that matters. And I want to thank you for stopping by the Balder BB Show to talk about this. Thanks for having us. Thank Thanks you. for being here. Hi, I'm Balder BB, host of the Balder BB Show. We have over 1,000 videos on ValderBBShow.com and YouTube.com slash Show. We upload new videos daily. Our site is a modern baby boomer platform with news and information important to boomers. Subscribe to youtube.com slash Show and stay connected as I interview the world's most fascinating people.